So I'm in a little bit of a pickle here. Uh, I'm out plowing and reverse starts to slip. And before long, it is gone. I have no reverse. Uh, I managed to limp it home. When I get home, I look up Sonic's website, S-O-N-N-A-X, Sonics. Uh, they have a sure cure kit and stuff. And they had a, a little bit of a diagnosis on when reverse fails. I had all forward gears. I did not have uh, engine braking in manual low if when you pulled the lever all the way down. And that would suggest either the, the servo piston rod or the brake band or possibly electrical issue. I pulled the pan didn't see anything and uh, I wanted to see what was in this under the cover here is this this is your uh, rear accumulator I believe I'm not an expert at transmissions here's your rear uh, piston servo assembly and I don't have in here right now because it makes it kind of tough to show you but there's a secondary accu accumulator in here and a, and a piston in here as well and a bunch of springs uh, and there's supposed to be a e-clip on the bottom of this. So when I pull that off, of course, you can't get the cover for this off without pulling off the valve body. I'm sure you could probably get it kind of, but I know me and I'm gonna lose those, those check balls and put it back together and then really have a problem. So I carefully removed the valve body, got this off of here, and I was looking and, and I, I couldn't see anything wrong. And if you look, and I got this computer, or this uh, uh, camera set up, this little uh, uh, snake camera, and it's up here. And that's that actually the brake, the reverse brake band that goes around the drum. And uh, I put the piston back up in here. And I'll try and keep my arm out of the way. Put this piston back up here. Get it in there, right? Okay, and then I can see, as you can see, the band is moving. So it's, I figured the band was broke. I figured it was kind of broke and it finally broke all the way on my way home. So then I took and figured out, I pushed as hard as I could on this, simulating uh, full line pressure to activate the I'm in the way there to activate the band the reverse brake band on the drum and what I found is with that pushed all the way up I don't know if you can see that with this flimsy little dental pick you can see that I don't have much problem moving that band even pushing as hard as I can up. So if I can move that with this little pick, I'm guessing it ain't holding anything. And I got a nice big drip of fluid. So then next thing I did is I took a, just a, whatever I could find a flat piece, put it under my hand, took the E-clip off. So now I can pistons all the way up but now I'll be able to shove the, the the rod up even further and I push it up with that underneath it to simulate a longer rod and I lost my here it is simulate a longer rod and now I can't move it at all. So I went online and seen that it was, there was a few years that were problematic with this, whether it was a design change or uh, the end of the, the servo rod was, was bad. But apparently it can go out because there's not enough throw left in the piston and you're not applying it, even though the even though the pad is worn and out of spec, it's not broke and still usable. And 
I need to get on the road and get back to plowing. So the proper way would be to pull everything apart. But this pig staying in here, if I can weld two or three thousands or five thousands on the end of this to bring that rod up a little higher. And what I did, there's a couple videos out there that you take a used cup cover and you drill a hole in it and you drill another hole and you do that. I don't have a used cup cover. I'm not gonna go search one down. So what I did was I made up a little jig here. With, uh, so what this is gonna do, some longer bolts, just a quick jig. And what this is gonna do, screw in there. And this is gonna be the top of the piston or the bottom of the piston rod right up here. And what I'm gonna be able to do is bolt that in there, set it to zero, and then I'm gonna be able to find, I believe what I read online was 3 16 which is one, 185, uh, 185 thousandths. And using this, this old <laughs> dial indicator, the only one I got, and it's, it's a little crude, it's not perfect, but it, I'll be able to see how far I am out once it's all the way uh, applied. And then that should give me how much that I need to apply to the, to the top end of, the, of the, uh, the servo rod. So we're gonna bolt this up and check that out and see how far we gotta go.